the Green. And welcome back to another episode of Victoria to Hard Darkness and Dating Network. We have skipped three years into the future, future, future. And basically in those three years, not much has really happened. Um, I'll just, like, just, yeah, I'll just give you a basic summary. Um, there were a couple wars over here that happened. I don't think really much changed. I think France maybe got a little bit more expansion. Um, not really anything changed over here. Not really changed over there. Not really changed over there. I built some more factories, so now we have a lot more maxing. We're doing, and our economy still, even though we're subsidizing, we're still like, psh, we're making the dough right now. So I'm loving this campaign. Um, uh, we had a lot of rebels pop up, and we still have a lot of um, rebel threats. It doesn't seem like they are really active anymore, though. It seems like a lot of them are just starting to realize that I am a good dictator and should not be relied in. If you guys are wondering why I have such a big economy right now, because I bet you guys are wondering last episode, well, basically I have a big economy now is because I had to switch my government back because I realized the reason why our government ha could lower taxes again was because the liberals took over, and the liberals are bad. So I just completely converted to communism, and now every time I get news events, we get the Daily Worker, which is pro-communist revolution in Santo Domingo, which is awesome. We have all these like events now in just the Daily Worker, which is actually, I actually find the Daily Worker way better of a newspaper than I did the other one. The other, uh, News of the World. The News of the World knew nothing, I swear. They, they, that was a stupid newspaper. <laughs> So anyways, um, now that we, now that we're back here, you guys probably have guessed that it's time for us to finally go to war with China, and I have made the final plan of the China Empire. This is going to be labeled the final Canadian plan of the Chinese Empire, so I'll put it on so you guys can see, and I hope you guys bask in its glory, Ah, because I always have loved maps and these are all the best, so I have three color coding systems. Red is what I'm going to gain in this war. Green is what I'm going to gain in the next war after that, and then blue is what I'm going to gain after I've conquered all of China. So, basically, I'm going to go to clear war on Gunzai, take this region right here, and take Fuxan, and basically divide Gunzai in half, effectively, hopefully, making sure that they never, ever, 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 in a thousand years industrialize. Or, you know, westernize, which is exactly what we need to do, and that way, next time when, when Infamy comes around, I can just downright annex him, okay? Over here in China, I kind of made a mistake on this one, but we only need to take one region from China, and then next time we go to war against them, we can annex them. And so, once in about, let's see, this plan will be consisting of, I'll finish my Gunzai war in uh, roughly five years. I'm going to, as soon as I'm, as soon as I'm attacking Gunzai, I'm instantly going to be getting my like, infamy for China also. So that way I can get both of these done at the same time. So, probably by seven, 1970. 1920, we should have completely conquered all of China. No Chinese men will be free, and all of them will be under subjugation of China. Of, not China, Canada. And then, finally, the final plan of my empire is, I'm going to get an alliance with the British, because I know I can't do this without the British help, but I'm going to finally attack and destroy the Russian army. I'm going to finally take back this little, this little region that, you know, was long, long sought out for me. Back back in the day when I was just thinking that I would only take over a little bit like this was the original outline of what I originally thought I would actually do of China invasion and now look, look at us now look how much we've taken over of China but this little region has been kind of a mark on my stain and I don't want the Russians anymore in my country I want to gain the greatest deposit of precious minerals Jetsu and kick those Russians out this is my land not theirs they should know that they should have known that a while, long, long time ago, ever since I've been conquering all this, so... Yeah, that's my basic plan, so let's enact the final plan, everyone! Plan... S Tiger Dragon. Plan, yes, that's gonna be the code name. Plan Tiger Dragon, so let's get the first step done. So, Gun's Eye, Influence, let's go steal it. And I got enough troops over here on the border, just kind of massing. It's kind of cool, and... Oh, I should also mention, we have tanks now. We have tanks. We have tanks. <laughs> oh my goodness, these Gunzai troops are not going to have a good day. I'm just going to slaughter them. Again. Like I did the first time. I'm going to slaughter them. Again. It, it's it's really not fair that I can just keep doing this. And apparently... Uh, okay. Seems like Romania is slowly starting to itch out. Actually looking like Romania. 
it has two of its biggest provinces um it now just needs to get this really weird awkward province right here and it basically is Romania now which wouldn't be that bad to have Romania in this game except I don't think Romania will be able to hold itself together but we'll see about that Italy is like no power no Italy's still a great power in this war really well, why did you not like take back all your land then you know defeat France Austria with the Germans help I bet you could do it I don't know, that's what I would do if I was um, Italy right now, I need those lands back. But right now we are doing pretty good right now with our like, Chinese population. Our Chinese population has soared in the last couple years. We gained like 5 million population from you know just conquering China. We didn't, I did not even conquer anything, so that's pretty amazing. And I think we are very, very close. We have actually overshadowed the Great British in terms of population. And I will say this right now, that usually never happens in any of my Let's Plays. This is the first for me. This is the first time in any of my Let's Plays I have overshadowed the British in terms of population. This is a special Let's Play, people. And I'm glad you guys were a part of it. And we're not done yet. We still have a couple more wars, but... You know, as the thing kind of implies, this is the final plan. This is probably going to be the um, final episodes of my series because... You know, I just don't want to... You know... After this, I think, uh, what is this? Ah, uh, I won't read this, but where do I sign up? There we go. Secular, what do we have? Our party is very much atheism. So we're finding atheists. All right, so we got no infamy for that. That's great. So let's go to war. Declare war. We want to take the Fuxan region. Uh, yeah, we want to take the Fuxan region. Fuxan region, that's the region we want to mainly take. Okay. So now they have no allies again, so we can just easily take this. And as you can see, it's gonna be easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh, hate to use nursery rhymes, but yeah, that's basically it. Okay, I got way too many troops over here, so I'm gonna move. Wait, let me get this off. Get this off. Move these guys are over there. Move these guys right over there. Okay, you guys stop doing that. And anyone else going attack rebels? Yep. Okay, there we go. And so now we're just going to quickly go swap out these guys. And in the meantime, let me just get my naval advances. Oh, and I've been working on mainly militaristic technology. Mainly naval technology because I wanted to make sure my army is a much better. Much better. So what I'm going to do now is quickly go get a uh, demand concession from China. That way I'll have that causes belai in the back of my mind. Because I need it. And we're just going to go now. We're just going to go to crush the entire... Gunzaian forces because this is not gonna be much of a challenge let's I I'll be honest with you this is again like last time it's not gonna be much of a challenge I'm a civilized nation with way better tech and I have get and I have gas capabilities this is just this is just gonna be a slaughter again and as you can see I'm not even I'm not even really trying most of my territory is just we're just flat out destroying them um it's a little bit hard to tell actually where the borders are because of um because of like stuff but it looks like it looks like they're actually trying to do a good attack right there so what I'm gonna do is since this is some nu nutrition values here I'm gonna move my troops down here that army right there should be enough to shock shock the Gonzaians out of their protective shell they should not be able to atheism they should not be able to yeah they're dying like by the thousands again I think that's almost all the army combined into one which is good because then it just makes it much easier for me to just go take over more land so yeah we took over their capital again like that wasn't very hard it wasn't even like we really had to do anything it just we just conquered the capital again what are you talking about there is no way I am taking over China right now <laughs> uh, yeah I'm not okay so I got 3.0 in for me that's not too bad for this war, I I didn't didn't really add in like China's like overall goal, but that's not too bad. We could definitely deal with that. Um, Johor add the sphere, yeah. And apparently Johor also had some kind of problems. I don't know exactly. I wasn't really paying attention to them the entire way. And so advanced Venezuela, they might actually get out of my sphere as soon as I add them back in because I'm not sure if the army is strong enough to protect themselves against the rebels. Let's see. They are not strong enough to protect the rebels and they'll probably just gain out of my sphere as soon as I get them. That's great. So the Daily Worker. War between us and Gunzai. Always a great, always a great feeling. So, as you can see, this battle is actually, huh. This might actually be the first win they've had in a very long time, Gunzai. Like, 
this might actually be a win for them. So that kind of scares me. So if move back all men, we're going to go make sure that this does not become a win. And there we go. That evened it out. That evened out the playing field. And now the Gunzai troops are basically being slaughtered again. That's exactly where we want to be. That's exactly where we want to be. We can't go back this. Then you guys go right there. Uh, yeah, go make sure the capital is still under our control. So, yeah, I want to f want to kind of finish this war up in a little bit. Ja Jacobs and rebels. Okay, if it's always it's in my main country, that's fine. I don't need any Jacobs and rebels in China right now. So right now China is just kind of yeah. I'm, I'm kind of fighting mo most of my troops are in are in some kind of fight right now, and I need to kind of keep them in some kind of fight. Okay, it seems like the Jacobs and rebel not ja Jacobs and rebels. The actual Chinese forces are leaking through a little bit, so I'm gonna have to go deal with that. So I'm just gonna go around in a circle to make sure that we take over everything and a lot of them are still getting slaughtered uh, they now want peace okay so now we go over here go to diplomacy yeah, Gunzai what region is this exactly I have to remember Jinsi okay Jinsi I need to, need to remember that region so what region are we looking for Jinsi we're gonna add that to the war goal 22 men or 22 infamy so now we're just going to wait for a second Let's see, if they give us that, then we basically have what we want. And then we can end our peace treaty with them. Or we can have a peace treaty with them, and that would be nice. But, I'm not sure. They, I'm not sure if they will accept, but we'll find out in a second. I hope they would accept, because I want to make sure by the time we get our causes belly for China, which I don't think we have quite yet. No, we don't have our causes belly for China quite yet. And... Wait, when is our... Wait, what? Hmm. I don't think we can actually declare war on China just yet, but by the time my cousin's belly um, is about time to go, we will have enough time. Okay, and are you guys ready to admit defeat? Yep! <laughs> oh, that was too easy. That was way too easy. Okay, and we got all these soldiers now scrambling. Okay, I'm gonna move out these guys a little bit. Okay. Okay. And you guys just sit right there. You guys move back to the border. Actually, you guys start moving over here because we need to start moving some soldiers to the front lines of the new war. It's about to begin. Okay, you guys actually go back over here because you guys actually just need back down here. Okay? And so now that we have our first phase again done. Ah. That felt good. Okay. And we can approximately go to war against China in a couple days, I think. Very, very close. In fact, once we, once I declare war on China, I think that's where I'm going to end the episode. Because that seems like a good way to end the episode. Let's see, war justification, 30 more days. Okay. I don't exactly remember when my actual, um, what was it called? When my actual, uh, when I was actually supposed to, like, declare war on China again. Let's see. Yeah, I, it's not telling me when my actual piece is. So I'm assuming that I can't see it until my causes belly. I, is inserted so let's see news of the world or no no, no the daily worker it's the daily worker that's that's the better voice so let's see for massa how, how unfortunate okay so let's see can I declare war on them um demand contest yes I can declare war on them so um actually we can probably just include this all in one episode every once you guys get a very good treat we're just gonna declare war instantly take not for massa it's not East Hubi it's um actually it could be East Hubi now I'm looking at it. Okay, so we're gonna de declare war, demand concession of East Hubli. Uh yeah, produce war. Okay, time to go to war again. Do, 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 do. Move in. Doesn't seem like they have much soldiers over here, so I'm just gonna move in all my soldiers like immediately. Over here we have a couple line line gaps should be able to quick correct that once I get right there right here just have to move right there yeah just have to move right there over here crush these guys um you guys actually you guys you two combine because I actually do need a decent sized army and you guys aren't decent that's just kind of small so let's see you guys combine combine to make a yeah this is a good size army so you guys go over here go destroy these guys and yeah it seems like we we got most of the Chinese de forces defeated. I mean, their army smaller than Gunzai, and Gunzai was easy to defeat. 
and most of the soldiers are now over there. <laughs> this is gonna be so easy. Okay, as you can see, yep, they're getting crushed. So we can just kind of fast forward through this entire break. Uh, yeah, we just want to kind of fast forward. Okay, we got some more conquered lands. So that means I can move in more. We can move in these guys more. Seems like they. I'm gonna use this army to go destroy these two big gigantic armies. It seems like most. Yeah. I'm gonna be able to just take over all this and wrap much of a, much of a hassle. I'm gonna use... Okay, now we got this. Good. Okay, you guys go right there, then you guys go right there to Beijing. Should be able to close off the rest of that gap. Okay, you guys are engaging them right over there, and these two armies will not be able to finish up conquesting wherever they want to conquest. Because I'm gonna be way too fast. And, wow, this war is definitely just going into my favor. Nothing, nothing new. Chinese are about defeated. So I can move my troops over there. China, you want peace? Yes, you do. Proceed. Okay. And with that, everyone, I think now that's an episode ender. That was a good... Those, that was a good episode right there. We gained this entire chunk of China. And next episode, or, yeah, I think, War Between Canada and China's Empire. That's so cool. Ah, oh, dang, the liberals took power again. Okay, gonna have to fix that right now. Gonna have to fix that right now. So, liberals get the communists back in power. Okay, so, for next episode, everyone, we will be dealing with the final conquest of China. I just want to thank you guys for watching this. Thank you guys for watching this Let's Play. And hope you guys are prepared for it. Hope you guys are ready for the final stand of the Chinese Empire. So, I'm looking forward to it. Hope you guys are. Thank you guys for watching again. See you guys next time.